Hey guys, welcome back. And today I want to talk about something that I mentioned on Saturday for the St. Patrick's uh, review, the Peterson St. Patrick's pipe tobacco review. I want to talk about one of my favorite pipe tobacco companies, McClellan's, that is uh, going out of business and kind of got a yabbo, but it's a sad yabbo. I've already opened it, so I guess I haven't pulled it out. Though. So I ordered just a couple of them. I wanted to order a lot more because they're not making them anymore after all these. But I ordered two of the 100 gram Frog Morton's Cellar, which is my favorite of the Frog Morton's, and just plain old Frog Morton, which of course is the second second favorite old standby. Did I just squeak like I'm in puberty again? What I want to talk about is before these came available, and thanks Kings to you on YouTube. Actually, it's Kings to you on Instagram. It's Lonnie here, LL. What's up, man? He told me on Instagram, told everybody on Instagram that smokingpipes.com had some more Frog Mortons in. So I went to get some. Got it at its regular price. I think it was like 13, 14 bucks. Nothing bad. But what I want to talk about is the people that are going online, and it's not just pipe tobacco, it's other stuff that's going out of business or that's really popular. Heck, let's go back to the Tickle Me Elmo's for Christmas. Yeah, I'm talking about the Tickle Me Elmo's, where everybody bought a bunch of them, hoarded them to sell them for, you know, absorbent prices. The problem with that is, it's kind of not their fault that they're selling them that high. It's kind of our fault if we pay those prices. And that's what's happening is, People are going on eBay and seeing a can that cost $13 yesterday, but they're sold out on smokingpipes.com. I don't know if they are right now or not. And they're going on eBay and paying $150 for a can of Frog Morton Cellar or five or six or whatever. $150 each. That's over a dollar a gram. That's ridiculous. So what I'm asking right now, is please don't pay those prices. Not right now. I mean, I get if this is your favorite pipe tobacco and you don't want to be out and you want to buy enough for the rest of your life, fine. But if you go and you pay $150 to somebody that bought 100 tens of these, thank God they put a limit on them now because now they can't go and do that and sell them like crazy for outrageous prices. Don't pay that $150 a 10 price because then they're gonna stick to that price because they think they got it once, they're gonna continue to get it. Short video, just, it's the supply and demand. You know, I get the supply is low, the price gets to go higher, but golly, really 150 bucks? There's a, I'll give a good example of something that's okay. I bought one of the small tins of Penzance. It's not quite this big, uh, off of eBay. I did pay more than it would have normally cost. I think they cost normally like 20, 30 bucks. I paid 60. That's, that's still a little high, but it's something that I, I know is tough to get. It's not coming around. I ran out of what uh, Josh from uh, Dragon Briars had sent me and I really wanted to get some. And this was like from, 19, from 1914. Whew. That'd be some ripe tobacco. Now this was from 2014 that the guy had stored it away. He even marked on it the date he got it and put it in his cellar. Haven't even opened it yet, but you know, I paid a little bit extra, but I wouldn't have paid 150 bucks for it. <sighs> I don't know. I guess some people like things a whole lot and they're willing to blow a lot of money. I mean, 150 bucks, you can get a really nice pipe. A really nice pipe. Brand new Peterson system pipe, I think. I could be wrong. I just wanted to give a little rant that the reason that they're pricing this stuff that high is because somebody's paying it. You know, some of them have come down a little bit since, especially when Smoking Pipes released these. I think I saw a lot of them just disappear off of eBay. But Frog Morton's is no more. And that's sad because this is some awesome pipe tobacco. I've got two more of the smaller tins that are already open. These are not open. These are going to go away for a little while, uh, get cellared away. But that's it. When I'm out, unless I can find someone that I can buy some from, I guess I'll just miss it. There's a lot of them out there. GLPs, he makes some awesome Latakias. Uh, I'll have to go with some of his. 
uh, well, I say I'll have to, like it's a bad thing. They're really, really good. But I tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to pay $150 for 100 grams. It ain't happening. Don't do it. And if you do it, then those of us who would be willing to pay, I'd pay 60, 70 bucks for this, maybe. If I'm really fiending pretty bad. I'm not going to pay 100 plus. That's nuts. And even if I did pay 60 or 70, I'm really gonna store this away for a special occasion. I'm not gonna, you know, pay 60, 70 bucks for an everyday smoke. I don't get it. Tell me in the comments what you think. Would you pay 150 bucks for a 100 gram tin? Would you do that? Supply and demand. Sometimes it's fun for the businessman. Sometimes it's really not fun for the people that want what's in the bag. But that's all I gotta say. Uh, until next time, keep the pipes loaded, slow down, philosophize, and enjoy life. Thanks. Take care.